This is a distance equals rate times time problem. That's another application of proportions. It says Katie bikes six miles per hour faster than Dave. Katie can bike 11 miles in the same amount of time that Dave can bike eight miles. Find their speeds. <clears throat> Whenever you have an application problem that involves distances, speeds, and times, we need to use the formula distance equals rate times time. So here's the key formula for this type of a problem. It's distance equals rate times time. Rate is a uh, synonym for speed, so distance equals rate times time. Okay. Or just more simply, D equals RT. D equals R times T. <clears throat> so using this formula, what I always do is set up a chart or a table to organize the given information with a column for the distances, a column for the rates, and a column for the time. So I'm going to show you um, a good way to organize the information and then figure out what to do. So we're going to have two rows going across, one row uh, for the first person's information and then another row for the second person's information. So we've got Katie and Dave. We'll list Katie's information first and then Dave's information second and uh, determine what the pertinent equation is to solve the problem. So I'm going to put Katie here for the first row of info and then Dave for the second row of information. So you just look carefully through our, our information and see if we know the distances that either one of them traveled first of all. And uh, it says here Katie bikes 11 miles, so I'm going to put 11 miles in Katie's distance box. <clears throat> and it, we also have that Dave can bike 8 miles, so 8 miles goes as Dave's distance. And then we want to see if we have the rates or the speeds for either one of them and if we have the times for either one of them. So we have information that Katie can bike six miles per hour faster than Dave. That's information about her rate relative to his rate. So if he could go X miles per hour, I'm going to make that his speed or his rate. She goes six miles per hour faster than him. Her rate then can be expressed as X plus six miles per hour. So there's a good way to express both of their rates or both of their speeds using, using the variable x there representing Dave's speed. And then we've got this uh, part of the sentence here in the same amount of time. So their times must be the same. They must be equal to one another. We don't know, of course, how long that is. But we can use the formula distance equals rate times time to solve for time and then fill in the boxes for time. So solving distance equals rate times time for time, for time here. <clears throat> what we can do is just divide both sides by r. The r's cancel on the right hand side and it's going to be time is equal to the distance divided by the rate. So each person's time can be expressed as the, the person's distance divided by their rate. Katie's time then would be 11 miles divided by x plus 6 miles per hour, or 11 over x plus 6, and that would be hours, since our, our units for speed are in miles per hour. And then Dave's time, similarly, would be his distance divided by his rate. So his time is going to be his distance, 8 miles, divided by his rate, which is x miles per hour, and the units on time here are hours. We've now got an expression for both of their times. And since the problem says in the same time they can travel, each of those distances, what that means is the times are equal. So there's our equation. Just take the first time there, 11 over x plus 6, and set it equal to the second time, which is 8 over x. Okay. To solve this equation, then, we've got to first of all clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by x plus 6 and x. So I'm going to show um, that I'm multiplying on both sides here by both denominators. I'm going to take out 11 over x plus 6 and show that I'm multiplying it by uh, x and x plus 6. This is in order to clear both denominators, to clear the fractions. And then on the right-hand side, we're taking 8 over x and multiplying it by x times x plus 6 to clear both fractions. On the left side, the x plus 6 factors cancel, and we've got 11x. And then on the right side, the x factors cancel each other out. And then the 8 gets distributed through the parentheses. And that's going to become 8x plus 48. From here then, uh, we need to collect the x terms on the left. That can be done by subtracting 8x from both sides. 11x subtract 8x is 3x. So we've got 3x is equal to 48. 
And then to finish it up, we can divide both sides by 3. x, therefore, equals uh, 48 divided by 3, which is 16. So 16, consulting our table here, is 16 miles per hour. That's Dave's rate. So therefore, we've got Dave's speed. Speed and rate mean the same thing. So Dave's speed is 16 miles per hour. And then to answer the, the question, find their speeds, we have half of the answer. The other person, Katie here, her speed is um, x plus 6. So if we plug in, if we substitute 16 uh, for x right there, 16 plus 6 miles per hour. 16 plus 6 miles per hour, which is 22 miles per hour. So 22 miles per hour, that's for Katie. And then 16 miles per hour, that is for Dave. And we've solved for both of their speeds. So with a distance equals rate times time application, I would suggest that you make a table or a chart here. Um, and then use two of your columns that you have completely filled in to fill in the third column utilizing the formula. You know, solve for whichever variable you need. Set up your equation, do whatever you need to do to both sides, solve for your variable, and then answer the question. Make sure you answer the question that, that, is, uh, that is in the original problem.